Hockey. Full Master Case Auctions. Gave you guys a break from auctions for a long time, but I am having a hard time pricing hockey. There's your teams. And uh, I might do a lot of hockey auctions because I don't know what the heck to price anything. You guys just pay whatever you want. I don't care. This, these auctions didn't do that well, by the way. I don't even care. Whatever you guys want, hockey people. I'm here to let you pay what you want. Well, I actually did price hall uh, trilogy because we did. Um... Yeah, we did an inner. Nobody like it's hard to find. There's not a lot of people breaking hockey. We could have a secret hockey, biggest American hockey group thing going if we tried. I know that would excite a lot of you. Yeah, and I don't know if it's that or people don't want to. It's dumb. I could put a 10 box trilogy auctions and it would probably do like 75, 80% of what a 20 box does as far as bids. So I'm screwed either. Like if I do a 10 box, you guys overbid and I feel bad. So then I want to do a 20 box master, but then you underbid on everything. And barely worth doing. So, oh well. Hopefully people got some good value out of this break. Would that be so bad once yeah. in a while? People got some deals on some breaks. Jeez. Deals on breaks don't exist anymore. That'd be like a distributor calling me and saying like, hey, I know this stuff is this much a box, but how would you like it for the, for 75% of that cost? That'll never happen, ever. Max Jones. Oh yeah, the rookie renditions. Cody Glass. 15 box break? No, that's fine. See what I'm saying? Yep. Oh, yeah. These are impossible to open. Fabro rookie renditions. Carl Coleman. It's a three ninety nine autograph. Cole. Tim. Jesper Bokvist. to $9.99. Yeah, I forgot. These are actually impossible to open. Let me see. Yeah, like, yeah, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Upper Deck has managed the first unopenable packs of... There's a Max Jones relic for the Ducks. Well, wow, that's weird. The foil got... Is that how they all are? No, the foil just didn't stamp on that. The bottom, that's weird. Yeah, I had a rookie renditions that was like that where the logo didn't have any of the silver mm -hmm. foil on it. Packs you can't even open. Max Jones again to nine uh, to nine ninety nine. And the same guy. Oh, has a corner, the bottom left corner and the right actually. A little bit of stuff on there. It's Jesper again, level two. The 199 for the Devils. The Devils go for it, Tim. Tim saw the value of these. Yeah, Max Jones. $7.99. NHL All-Stars this weekend? How did I not know that? It's like I'm not paying attention to hockey or something. I have been paying zero attention. <clears throat> um, I don't know. What should we do for that? What is? What are people excited about in the world of hockey? You know what you could be excited about? The new Synergy that came out today that I totally ordered on purpose. A lot of. Zadina to nine ninety nine. Not only did you order it on purpose, 
You told me today you were so excited that it came in. Yeah. You didn't regret it at all. Nope. I said perfect timing. How about like a Synergy triple case break for free? Cody Glass, Relic. Oh, there are a lot of these rookie rendition. Mm -hmm. Like in every pack. Like pretty much every pack, yeah. Like, hey, we got a new thing called rookie rendition. Should we put it in every pack? Nothing says all-star game of hockey like Synergy. Rudolph's Balsers. Mikhaev to seven ninety nine rookie renditions. Hitless <laughs> boxes. Yeah, how does that stuff work? It's pretty cheap, so. Well, you know, I got to order the Synergy if I want any cup. Riley Stillman. Lazote, seven ninety nine. We could use it for Hitless if Don wants it. Are there? It has some packs in it. I don't remember. How I don't remember. Jack Hughes. Oh, signature pucks. Ryan Zingle. Zingle. For Columbus. Brian, you're on the board. Your blue jackets. Oh, Brian he finally got, got his blue jackets. He got one. You're on the puck. <laughs> yeah, it's a signature Oreo. Stop goes Sagan. Wallstrom. Coleman again. We've had him. Isn't your rookie uh, to share or whatever? Is he Columbus? Mm hmm. Texier. Yeah. Texier, yeah. Z is silent. Then why is but it the, there? It's Dingle? I would have thought this the I would have thought the D would be silent. It'd be Zingle. Mm -hmm. There's Jack Hughes. 9.99. Tessier. Hey Tim. Hey Tim. I didn't post any football for tonight. I don't know if you guys want it. I don't know what to do with football right now. Rasmus Sundin. Yeah, we didn't know if we'd hit our limit last week or. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing good right now. You guys don't want contenders. But ugh. Who would want to open contenders? <laughs> King of Dingles. This one has like extra base. Oh, there's a clear thing. It is. Wow. Dominic Hasek, 25 oh, cool. scripted Hall of Fame plaque auto. That rules. Man, we got one of those. It wasn't that set. We got one acetate thing in the last one. Buffalo? Is that the old Buffalo? Is that the Buffalo logo? It's definitely it was... possible for the Dominator. Oh, that thing is really cool. That wouldn't be like... What else would that possibly be? It's not like stars or anything, right? Buffalo. Buffalo, right? Yeah. yeah. Making sure. Yeah, that thing is awesome. My confidence level during hockey breaks goes down. Bars all. I'm even more of an idiot than usual. Yeah, that thing is really cool. Oh, Tim, you have Buffalo. <coughs> yeah, it's not really a card, huh? It's like a plaque. Abramov to seven ninety nine. They should just change this stuff to be called rookie rendition. Twenty nineteen twenty. There's as many of those it's, as there is base cards. It's constantly rookie renditions. Okay, I have <laughs> two per pack. Wallstrom numbered. I think well, they were like, hey, bad news, uh, I put the, I doubled the number on the machine, we've got like, we've got five times the rookie renditions that it was supposed to print. 
And they make the they have rookie renditions autographs, rookie renditions relics. Yeah. Rookie renditions autograph relics. Uh, all right, we'll find a place for them. No, no, don't throw them away. No, we'll use them. Ryan Paling, that's good to four ninety nine. Yeah, they got all over the box cover and everything. They're committed to the rookie rendition. It's our first level two, I think. No adoption level one. They're having like the upper deck pitch meeting and the guy stood up there is like, I got two words for you. Rookie renditions. I'm like, what does that mean? What does it mean? They're going through the celebrities at the next game. Oh, uh, yeah. It means everything. Yeah, signature pucks. Henrik Borgstrom for the Panthers. Original can. No, I can't give away anything. Sorry. You can watch the breaks, though. Enjoy these breaks. Yeah, Monty Python guy died. Saw that. Olufsen. And Sabres. Sarella. Number to seven ninety nine. Typical tubers. Hajik, maybe. Relic for the Rangers. <laughs> it's all rookie renditions. That one's to seven ninety nine. I'm mostly laughing because I came into the sorting room after you did this break and, and I saw some and I was like, what, are you not going to sleeve and top load these? And you're like, there's like a million of them. I just saw a small pile of them at the front of the row and I thought there was like 10 of them in the whole yeah. case. And I was like, oh, you should sleeve and top load these. And then I do a case of it and I didn't realize it's every, three per pack. Ah, that's funny. The paling again, nine ninety nine. Pictures framed well. Oh my God! Can you believe Zion's about to play? In an hour, does it start in an hour? Yep. Can you put the Kings game on? Sure. Who cares about the Lakers? They're gonna win easily. I need to watch a team that never wins. Tyro or Detroit. What is that movie? Sure, it's short. Jesper for the Devils, level one relic. Oh, Life of Brian, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that. It's Quinn Hughes, rookie renditions. Buddy's having a good game, I think. Uh, Ilya. Ilya, level one autograph for the Maple Leafs. Jeez, what's harder to say? That guy's name or the person who has card that is? Dinuch. Dinuch. I don't know how to say that. Her username. I can't say anything. I mean, it's kind of tough to beat the Pistons. Yeah. They're within 10 at least. Kings are like the worst team in the league. They're terrible. They're so bad. Ready Keeper to seven ninety nine. That was a little corner. Illy is a decent rookie. I didn't see him in my research. Nico Sturm. Can you 
believe we're already a third of the way done. Let's break. You haven't had like any vet numbered stuff. It's weird. Yeah, that's true. It's all rookie premiere so far. Ilya's out for the season? Or the Nico one? Elvis. Awesome. Nick Suzuki, the Canadians. I think I saw his name on some list. Mm-hmm. Like he's doing okay. Yeah, people like him. Oh, Ilya's out for the season. Oh, Wellstrom. There hasn't been a lot of baseball news since the all the other stuff. But I know, Tim. I don't know signature if it's as much pucks. a curse as just he's a bad decision maker. Granlund! Signature pucks. Yeah, well. I just wonder how long Vivek will uh, put up with Vlade. He's not going to last forever. Zadina Relic. Yeah, it's been a lot of the same stuff and then that amazing mm -hmm. awesome. God, I can't get that. I couldn't open any of them. But have you opened any of them? Nope. Not possible. That's number 399, Jimmy Schultz. Hulk, your knights. Nope, can't open a damn one. That does slow the breakdown a little bit. Yeah. It's weird because our deck is usually so good about mm -hmm. making the packs all buttery. Capo. Uh, Brandstrom. Later, Cal. Enjoy it. Five emails. Hold on. Let me see if something happened. Tim, you and a YouTube J Hook YouTube chatter just wrote the same thing at the same time. Man, I tried to finish watching Gangs in New York with my wife, you know, I couldn't even finish it. It's so weird. Yeah, it's like ten Depressing. hours long and incredibly boring. Yeah. Cody Glass to two ninety. It's weird. I actually watched it the other or not the other day, but a while ago because it's Scorsese and I had I'd never seen it and it was on Netflix for free. Man, so you know like most of the movies building up to like Oh, you are, Jay. Well, that makes sense. Look at that. Back to back. Ilya. Renditions Relic. It's building to the... To him. The moment. Know, yeah, Butcher or whatever. And then he, like, tries to do it and he gets shot or whatever. And I was like, all right, I'm out. Like, I don't... And I, we looked and there was an it's hour like 90 left. minutes yeah. left. Yeah. I was like, I, that's it. I was just going to watch up to that and I don't... The weird thing is that I remember when that happened, I was like... Oh, well, this isn't, like, the real one. This isn't, like, how, yeah. how it's happening yet. It's been building for two and a half him. hours. And, like, this, you know, they haven't, but like, they haven't set this up. Oh, right like, before he actually shoots. Yeah, it's shoot. like, oh, yeah. this isn't this isn't it yet. I thought the same thing. <laughs> and then, oh, yeah, no, that was it. <laughs> it's the weirdest, like... Nico! Signature pucks for the Devils. Tim! Um, so just tell me what happens. Like, what, is, what happens? I'm not watching. Oh boy. Uh, we got Gangs of New York spoilers coming up. If you, if you haven't seen yeah. it yet. Uh, how does it end? Teddy. Cole Sherwood to seven ninety nine. Oh. Like, how does he get out of there? I left when he was, like, okay, still on so, the table when he's, like, messing with them and all the people are there. Yeah. He, how does it, I don't know, I don't remember exactly how he gets out of there. He doesn't die, obviously. Yeah. And then he, like, uh, resurrects the dead rabbits or whatever, you know, his, like, original clan. Oh, okay. 
they like start again and for some reason aren't squashed immediately by Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, what the heck? And it builds to like a nut, like basically like a recreation of the first battle. First battle. The like the first five minutes of the movie. Oh, uh, okay. And uh, they, there's also like a you know how there's like a <laughs> Irish chicken now definitely a raptor. Well, that sounds lovely. I wish I would have held on and watched the whole thing. Uh, you know how they're talking about like the draft, who drafted the yeah. war and all that. Well, there's a riot that's happening at the, that happens like coincidentally at the same time as the battle, and like Suzuki. just thousands of people die in the city, <laughs> like yeah. right at the end of the movie. When Leo dies, everybody dies. Does Leo die? He <sighs> Leo. Probably. I, I honestly don't even remember. Adam Fox to seven ninety nine. Of course, uh, Daniel Day Lewis, he's got to die. That's how. Yeah. Got to be how the movie ends. I does Leo die? Or does he maybe like? I can't Carl remember how even, what happens with him and Cameron Diaz if she leaves and he dies and you know or like. Uh, yeah. I watch all these movies and then you ask me about one I've seen a month ago and I can't remember, even remember what happened. It's like it's for nothing, you know. Elvis for the Blue Jackets is seven ninety nine. Oh, this is perfect because Brian's a big Elvis fan and a Blue Jackets fan. Probably gonna be his favorite prospect ever. And yeah, that one's got Brian all shook up. <laughs> Milkshakes. It's a different movie. Noah Dobson for the Highlanders to one ninety nine level two autograph. Flatsky. He has three shutouts in five games. Elvis does. He's playing. Jeez. You warm? You're really warm all of a sudden. Not really. Paling. Balsers. Oh, that's cool. I did watch the first two parts of the Aaron Hernandez thing. Oh yeah, I watched it. I didn't finish it though. I don't know why I just wasn't in the mood for it. I won't tell you how it ends. Yeah. <laughs> Mackenzie. Mackenzie. Rookie renditions for the Blues is seven ninety nine. That was interesting. There wasn't like a ton of new information to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lizot for the Kings level one. The most interesting thing is where they say, like, they reiterate, like, the whole time. That he didn't really grow up around, like... Yeah. They made it seem like he was, like, just, like, born into it. And like a, yeah, no, Like a gangbanger from the start. And, like, it wasn't... That wasn't really how it was. Fabro level one relic. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. He went to Florida. And his mom and all that. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, the family stuff is really strange. Yeah. I didn't know that either, really. That he was like... There he is. Tessier. Tessier? Texier is what Texier. they told me. Nine ninety nine. That was pretty good. I mean, I haven't finished it, but... Yeah, I, I liked it. Got another one of those uh, icy things in here. Adam Fox. It is Matt Murray. Ice scripts for the Penguins. Notorious B.O.B. Oh, yeah. When does ice come out? Later. Kind of soon. Probably like April or something. Oh, yeah. No one likes Matt Murray, huh? What's, what happened to him? It's Adina. He was like a hero for that one... Uh, yeah, and then he was like not cup. playing. Ever. And I was like, everyone hates him. You haven't seen Mandalorian? That's like 15. How much is 
Send me a uh, PM. <laughs> yeah, I'll buy it for you, Deadpool. Deadpool. Yes, Tim, I watched episode 9 yesterday or two days ago. I was talking about it earlier. Gusev. <laughs> That's like five dollars a month. Why is he so like how did people think he was good and now he sucks? So weird. Anders Lee autograph. Is this guy still good, Jordan Bennington? I'm serious, Deadpool. Send me a thing. I'll send you my password. Edit droid, what's... We haven't heard any news on the... I don't know if you want to talk about it in chat. Wow. That's number to 49, Carl Grunstrom. Level 2 patch for the Kings. That's nice. Troy's B.O.B. Hmm. Yeah. Bennington rules. Send me a thing on Facebook. Um, what was I going to say? What, oh, what's going on with your any job search stuff? I didn't hear anything. Joey Decord. Who's breaking what laws? He's going to jail. Harrington. Jimmy Schult to nine ninety nine. Oh, there must be a some minimum number of people that are allowed on an account. More than yeah. one. They're brothers. Yeah. What? Well, what? Like Disney has to. You have to be a blood relative to share your Disney password with somebody. Quinn Hughes to seven ninety nine. I'm sure all you guys are really crying about Disney not getting set the seven dollars they deserve. For... I think they're going to be all right. I'll just get him his own account. You don't have to give him your thing. He's going to want to watch more than Mandalorian. You got like Snow White and. Yeah, that's true. Stuff. I don't want him throwing off my algorithm, but carefully. <laughs> no, Dobson to three ninety nine. Six devices. Max Jones level one on oh, and Philip Myers. Not autographed though. Hmm, yeah. That's true. Omni single-handedly holding up the... Yeah, I was reading about the rookies, and it seems like there are some really good ones, but a lot of them are defensemen and goalies, maybe. Is that why people aren't that excited or something? I don't know. Sydney Crosby relic. Anyway, Tim, um, yeah, episode nine, uh, Hajik, maybe. I thought it, it wasn't as bad as I was fearing because mostly because it was, like I said before, it was real fast paced and entertaining and, but, uh, yeah, whatever. It's, they're all terrible, so. And if you're wondering about my opinion, I think it's one of the two worst Star Wars movies of all time. Capo. Nine ninety nine. Yeah, Omni hated it. Hated it. But I just try to talk him into the fact that none of them are good, and they're all equally that bad. I just the first two were not as this bad to me. They were. I don't think they were like Matthew you know, Kachuk, like revelations or anything. Well, it fed me. This one got to me early. In. Yeah, 
Yeah, Rogue One is probably like my third favorite Star Wars movie. It's really good. I honestly think I enjoy it more than Return of the Jedi. Brandstrom, level one. Oops. Weird. Hmm. Oh, that was kind of warped. Yeah, because like the rookie renditions. There's Elvis too. again. Relic. I don't Apparently think it's like damaged, really. The Sidney Crosby other, is yeah, like that side is like it just bends a little bit weird. Oh, there we go. A go Leafs, Ilya, to forty nine, level three. Awesome. So yeah, Solo was, that was my thing with, like Sam's was with this. Where I was like, oh, this, I think it's going to be a terrible Solo. And it was like, it was fine. It was fine, yeah. I kind of liked it. Yeah, I've actually heard that it's like. Why is it better now? Uh, yeah, that, pe that it's like Dominic aged well nine. somehow. I don't know. How? Yeah, Olsen's good. Philip Zadina, four ninety nine. <laughs> we have that usual Wednesday night hockey, hockey um, argument slash Star Wars argument chat. Just a regular Wednesday night. Teddy for the Penguins relic. Zach McEwen to seven ninety nine. Oh, Kings are only down seven. Fabro to two ninety nine. Yeah, every Star Wars is pretty much the same story. Lately. That's a rogue one. Yeah, that's why the second one I liked Tolman, more. Because it wasn't like a total like Empire clone. The first and the third ones were the same, like, yeah, I had all good. the same points. Signature Pucks. Rookie. Kirby Doc. Maybe. The Blackhawks. Cracker 12. Taro, you know, I just remembered it's the end of nine when. Why does Lando like start picking up on the young girl? Like, is it? So, yeah, that's her, his daughter. Or? Uh, that is sort of the insinuation, I think. That was weird. Like, how would he just know that that's his daughter? Or maybe it's just like some like forced, like, camaraderie, which is not a good look for the Max Jones for the movie itself. You know, it's just that like was weird. Yeah, that was strange. It's like, oh, we should find out. We'll have to spend a lot of time together so we can figure out. Oh, she's getting her own show. 
That's cool. I mean, I liked her. She seemed cool. But that was just weird. Max Verano. The Senators. Oh, that is that Lando's daughter? I don't know what's going on. Good Star Wars chat here. Yeah. We got plenty of those yeah. now. Yeah, that's probably all they were doing is planting seeds for a yeah. <laughs> show. That makes sense. There's Kirby again. I don't really care if they make any more. <laughs> I don't well, need to see another Star Wars like, movie. Yeah. I'm fine with ever, now ever seeing anything again. I'll watch Mandalorian for a while. Fabro. Yeah, we, you just have to accept that like they're going to be making a ton of stuff, and some of it's going to be good, and some of it's going to be bad. Yeah. yeah, that's not the best thing, I guess. But but also, like, what more do I need to see of the Star Wars? Thing? Yeah. Yeah, maybe it is time for some some new stories. Aaron Eckblad signature pucks for the Panthers. Original can. isn't playing. Brian Strum. Oh yeah, there's an Obi-Wan, uh, Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan show too. Mm. The Obi-Wan show it has like a band. And <laughs> it's a talk show. Yeah, a talk show. Nathan Bastian. He's got the Max Rebo Max Rebo band as his house band. <laughs> People would watch that. He like interview f like fictional like Star Wars universe uh, celebrities. Celebrities, yeah. yeah Cy Snoodles doing yeah. a song later on tonight. Yeah. Nico Stern. Yeah, I watched that UFC. It was probably the worst UFC I've ever seen. Abramov. I was up there with an all-time worst pay-per-view for UFC. I still, I, mean, I still watched it. It was still fine, but they really didn't put in many other good fights on that card because they're like, "Cool, McGregor's on here. Everyone will buy it. So let's just put nothing else." Brandstrom. Yeah, it's always weird because, like I said about the like Aldo fight, there's a part of me that's like, oh, well, that wasn't much of a fight. And then there's a part of me, too, that's like, yeah, we got to see something really exciting yeah. for 30 seconds, you know. Like, would it have been better if they had fought around and he did that three minutes later? Maybe. I don't know. Adam Fox in 999. What was the fight before Connor? The, the Holly Home and that was the fight Ra before, Raquel yeah. Pennington? Oh, my God. That fight couldn't even shouldn't even be on free. Who cares about either of them? Eric Stahl for the wild signature pucks. Cowboy came out like totally not ready, and Connor uh, shouldered him in the face a couple times, and then finished him. It was nothing. Connor did nothing. Yeah. Or, uh, Co well, Connor. Cowboy did nothing. I mean. Yeah, he threw a punch and Cowboy ducked it, and then like. Yeah, that's classic Cowboy. He's the biggest choke ever. It sucks. I like him too, but he just can never do it. Texier again, relic. It'd be fun to see Cowboy sparring with Connor. See like how they could, striking wise, like, but in a. Actual fight, like he just can't do it. Uh, Nico to three ninety nine for the wild. Yeah, it was weird though, cause like the the uh, you know whatever Connor was emanating before the fight didn't seem that like intense. Yeah. Teddy like, oh, to nine ninety nine. Like, maybe he's gonna like go through the motions, and then maybe he was going through the motions, but he just. 
They say he's going to keep fighting. He's not on top, really. He's like second. He'll always be second to... Habib. Habib. Uh, no, I didn't order any of the Civil War stuff. I didn't even know that existed. Sorry. Quinn Hughes autographed 249. Crack 12. That's nice. That's a good one. Yeah, this stuff feels very different this year. Like, what what did it have before? I mean, I'm thinking of artifacts. Like, it seemed like there was more numbered. Oh yeah, we still there stuff. are numbered veteran cards, right? I don't. It's like we never get them. Maybe this case is just weird. Randstrom. I thought we got some in the last one, but to me, it's like a base and a rookie renditions over and over again. Yeah, Connor's really good. Philip Myers. I just hope he fights. I don't want him to fight Khabib again. I want him to fight everybody else except Khabib. I don't know why Dana's already. Oh, next fight's Khabib. It's like. Oh, did he say that? Yeah. I mean, it's not officially announced, but that's what he's saying. Like he thinks makes sense. Oh, by the way, the Kings uh, <laughs> got away from him. There. Kings are awful. Balsers. Yeah, Gaethje. There's so many fights for Connor that would be super fun. Not at all. Sam doesn't like that idea, though. Yeah, Alex, don't you like how every every uh, casual like Omni thinks that Masvidal is a great fighter? No, I, I'm just saying that I've heard that name as that, someone he's going to fight. I, I'm not saying he like I've never seen Masvidal fight. I don't care. Masvidal sucks. Everyone thinks Masvidal is so great. I'll bet you in a couple years everyone will be like, oh, Masvidal wasn't really that good. I mean, he doesn't suck, but he's not on that level. I don't think. Noah Dobson. Yeah, Tim, Crack of 12 has the Canucks. I don't know. They make one fake belt. That's an MF or belt, and everyone's like, oh, Masvidal, like he's Well, it was the knee, the knee, like... Because right, he beats freaking... He, yeah. That was why. That's probably why. Yeah, he beat a 40-year-old wrestler and, a, and then... A terrible Diaz. I don't get it. Olufsen to 9.99. We'll see. We'll see in the next two years. Two years from now, mark it down. Is that, will anyone think two years from now that Masvidal is any good? I bet he gets beat like three times. Ilya. Cody Glass, 249. Hulk. Kenzie McKern. Uh, maybe he found some new, uh, some undetectable elements or something, because he was never really that good before. So now he's older now. Yeah. Who did he lose to before that? He lost to somebody right before that that was like an average fighter. Before he went on his super streak of three wins. <laughs> yeah, like I said, I think it was just that, that like, the flying knee thing was, took off for some reason. Yeah. Like among everybody, and then. Wallstrom. Connor did. I think he was talking to him. Unless he was Wallstrom. talking to Usman. After the fight, he mentioned, he's like, I'll fight anybody. There's one of them right there. Yeah. Thompson and Maya. Damian Maya beat him. Well, Damian Maya's weird. He could beat, he could beat or lose to anybody. Ridiculous jujitsu. My rules. Kako.
Uh, Abramov to 299. Tyro autograph for Detroit. Hippie. Your Red Wings. King started the quarter on a 7 0 run. Oh, wow. Back to 10 11. How old's Masvidal? Is he like 35 or something? Is he not that old? Uh, Joel Faraby. I'm most annoyed at that. Like, I'm not even a. Actually, I like Masvidal. He's hilarious. And I, I also like uh, the guy who we need to death. He retired, but I really wanted to see that fight, like an actual mm. fight. That kind of sucked when you need him in two seconds. Not because I wanted the, him to not win. Max Jones, but I really wanted to see that. That fight was exciting. Should have been exciting, could have been exciting. He is 35? Yeah, he's 35. Yeah. How old is Connor? 33 or something. 1, 32 maybe. Abramov, level two to four ninety nine. Snow flurries. I saw that in Florida. Oh really? Good ask for me. Askren was fun for for ten minutes when he was in UFC, wasn't he? <laughs> the Askren and uh, Robbie Lawler fight was. Unbelievable. Did we watch that at Tarble's house too? Maybe. <laughs> what a fight that was. I think we might have actually. That was one of the wildest things I've ever seen. Askren came in and had some wild fights. 399 Cody Glass. He's never boring. Teddy Bluger. For the Penguins. Man, I can't say any names. Anquan has fallen from the trees. Torres B.O.B. Pets' heads are falling off. A uh, goose of... A sun sow? Yeah. Sun sow's solid. I just... I think Masvidal... I could be wrong. I think he's just a level below all these guys. He's really good. He's... But he's not... He's not Connor, Khabib, Ferguson, uh, you know, the champ right now. Usman. There's just so many other guys that are better, I think. Who knows? Any given night. Any given night, he can knee somebody in the head instantly and win. Caden. Those are different. Those are guys who are in different weight classes. He lost to Larkin and yeah, Dylan Larkin. Zach Sension. Autograph level one. Bruins. Tim. We we haven't gotten a, a car autograph, huh? We got a numbered something. Mm-hmm. You booing me? Jack I don't know. Kingston. I just love Raging Al Kinto. He's one of my favorites. Raging Al. He's tough. Quinn Hughes. Again. It's Groundhog Day. Again. <laughs> that must mean we're in the body. <clears throat> I love him. He gave uh, Khabib a good fight. I don't know, it's weird. Khabib fights, it's like, you never know if Khabib could have just ended that fight whenever he wanted to and didn't feel like it. He was just being nice. Khabib's so good. Quinn Hughes to 399 renditions. Oh, yeah, when is the. Tony and Khabib's fight supposed to be. Will it actually happen? There's no way. We don't deserve it. 
Are there lower numbered ones of the rookie renditions? They're all four ninety nine and three ninety nine. I don't know. April, yeah. Someone will get hurt. We're not allowed to see that fight. Tony Ferguson and Nurmagomedov. Dante Fabro, re uh, rookie renditions relic. April 18th. Man, the Kings suck. This just in, the Kings suck. Nico Sturm, go wild inscribed. Are those Level like three numbers or something? It's number to 49. I'm just wondering because we have two inscribed ones, you know. Ed Movie Man, nice one. I'm not sure I've ever seen his autograph before with the lines through it like that. Yeah, that's weird. It's like, I thought he like scratched it out and was going to start over. Like, oh, never mind. Let me fix that. Carl Grundstrom for the Kings. And Myers to 299. I thought of that same thing, Brian. Right when I looked at that, that's funny. I thought, remember last year when we got the ones that were like, they put the wrong sticker, the wrong name? Remember that? In Trilogy? Yeah. No, I don't remember that. Yeah, we totally got one. Last pack. Oh, I thought I saw one of those glass cards. Ilya. To two ninety nine. That was a lot of trilogy. Yeah, there was a ton of numbered of stuff. stuff yeah. There was a heck of a lot of trilogy. Uh, what time is it? Six o'clock, and we've got draft, the basketball mixer, and a baseball mixer. So that's an hour, two and a half hours. It'll be eight thirty. I mean, I we could post some more stuff. I just didn't want you guys to have to wait five hours for whatever break. So hit recap, we had the Hasek uh, scripted Hall of Fame plaques for Buffalo. It was really cool. That card's awesome. Yeah. 30 minutes for Zion. Oh, we got to get this draft done so we can get the basketball mixer. Uh, Matt Murray, Ice Scripts autograph. Eric Stahl, Ekblad, Kirby, Nico, uh, Granlin, Borgstrom, and Zingle. Or Dingle. The Z is silent. Dingle. Apparently. I don't know if I believe that. I don't either. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for Cracker. pulling your leg. Autographs. Quinn Hughes. Cody Glass. Carl Grundstrom. We got the Go Wild inscribed Nico Sturm. Sension. Bluger. Rose <laughs> got it. I can't say anybody's names. The Ilya Go Lease ones. Kachuk. Max Jones. Anders Lee. Noah Dobson. Ilya, what happened to you becoming the hockey expert? We gotta get back on that. Bugfist. Coleman. Now that you're gonna have your I'm own office. I'm gonna start billing hours on. Yeah, I'm gonna set up a hockey study guide for you when you're new. Uh, I went to Buffalo Sabres, the Hossack. Grunstrom Patch, Faraby. And here's all the relics. So you're gonna get like NHL or something. It's too much time. I know, see? See? Who has the time? Yeah. I don't think I get NHL Network now, too. I used uh, to. Wilson. Well, you got your kids, you got your wife, you got... Yeah. I got movies to watch. <laughs> Oscar movies. Yeah, the Oscars are coming up. You know this is my busy time. <laughs> How dare I ask you in your Oscar season to learn some hockey. Oh, man, that's funny. All right, here's the numbered stuff. The world stops when Omni is when the Oscars are coming up. World stops for Omni. Jeez. Shoeless, yeah. Quinn Hughes. It's turning into me already, Brian. Been here a year. See how quick it happens. Any of you coming here would does it all happen to all of you? Well, I mean, there are other things I've been doing. I know. But yeah, I'm talking about the like, motivation to do more part. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. 
it probably wouldn't take that long just watching highlights and stuff, you know? I know. And then every break would sell for the same amount, and everyone, everyone who buys hockey would buy hockey. Yeah, that's what Tim was saying about Ilya. Wow, there's... Look at the amount of rookie renditions. Holy crap. Yeah. They're all the 399 or 799, I think. I really want to know the story behind this. They're like, let's add a new insert to Trilogy. No, let's take over Trilogy with this insert. Should we make low number versions? No. Just 499, just 799 and 499. And that's just a few that I noticed. Oh, these are the top the rookie top renditions. Guys. Some of them. It's very weird. All right. <laughs>